Start game now. Presumably, Scrooge McDuck came from an egg, which is very fitting because today we're going to take a look at Cracked for the Atari 1700, which has nothing to do with the magazine of the same name. Looking at this box art here, it appears to be about a grumpy mouse who's upset that his egg tree is having all of its eggs fall down while some of his friends come over to console him and a gigantic egg is coming to life and flying. Interesting. Let's go ahead and take Cracked, pop it into our Atari 7800 and find out how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Cracked was published by Atari and carries a copyright year of 1988. It was based on the 1987 Atari ST computer game. There was also a planned Atari 2600 version that never got officially released. Cracked is a single player, light gun style game that only plays on a controller with the 7800. The computer game was made for using a mouse to guide a cursor on screen, but of course the 7800 does not have a mouse for it. Cracked has three levels of difficulty, easy, normal, and insane. You're an ornithologist, a scientist who studies birds and is trying to protect 25 eggs of the endangered South American hornbill. So how do you do this? Do you gather them and take them to a safe environment like a zoo or a bird sanctuary? No, instead you leave them in five unattended nests that will magically transport to different environments filled with a large number of predators that you must constantly shoot in the name of preservation. So are you just going to keep guarding them in the wild until they hatch and reach adulthood? Yeah, good luck with that one. In the regular stages, you move your jerky cursor to aim and the left button to shoot an invisible projectile to hit the enemies. If you hit an enemy that is carrying an egg, you can try and catch it by aiming your cursor at it and holding down the right button. If you catch it, you can place it in a nest by releasing the button over it, but if the nest has five eggs in it, it will not hold any more eggs. Once in a while, you may hit an enemy who, if he is over a nest, may end up dropping it in the nest without you having to catch it. Without warning, the stage will end and your leftover eggs will be counted and transported to the next stage. The game ends when all your eggs are taken or destroyed by being dropped on the ground. The game has five different regular scenes, including a tree, a sewer, underwater, a dungeon, and a moon, all of which makes absolutely perfect sense. Stages do repeat as you go on into the game. In between stages, you will go to Rooster Ranch, where you have 10 eggs to hit a rooster who is also throwing eggs at you. You move a horizontal and vertical arrow to line up your shot without a cursor. Your shot has to be very precise, as I had several close shots enter the correct window but fail to connect with the rooster. Without a cursor, this stage is very difficult and not very fun at all. It ends after you throw 10 eggs. Scoring-wise, you get 100 points for shooting a critter, 200 points for catching an egg, and 300 points for dropping it in a nest, and 100 points for each egg left over at the end of the stage, with an additional 500 points given for each dozen. At Rooster Ranch, you get 200 points if you hit the rooster, but you lose 100 points if you fail to throw an egg at the rooster or if the rooster hits you. Thankfully, you can't get below zero points, and on average, zero points is exactly what I ended up earning in these bonus rounds. Graphically speaking, the game looks okay, but I really like how the different enemies turned into different objects when hit, like a cooked bird or can of squid or even a Ghostbuster-like sign. Music and sound, nothing really impressed me and I did not like how the death march that played when your game ended was cut off before it finished. Family friendly wise, there is a dungeon screen in the game where some cartoony spooky enemies appear but nothing really scary. On eBay, loose copies typically go for between $4 and $8. Complete copies were going for about $13, and new copies were selling between $15 and $20, and as always, those prices include shipping. So what did I think of Cracked? Well, I appreciate the catching mechanic. This game really needed a mouse or a light gun to work. The cursor isn't really up to the job when a lot of enemies appear on stage, and it just isn't that much fun to play. So where am I going to rank it? Well, pretty low. I did like it better than the choppy hat trick at 25, but I actually had more fun with the broken Karateka at 24, so I'm going to make Cracked my new number 25 game. Cracked. 
it's nowhere near as good as the magazine it wasn't named after. If you enjoy retro-related videos, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons? You can also support me on Patreon as well. And be sure to check out some of my other videos covering Atari, Sega, Nintendo more. With over 175 now posted, there's something for just about any retro fan. Thanks for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of The No Swear Gamer. Take care and watch out for roosters who throw eggs they're supposed to protect.